What's up guys, it's Chris back in the driveway with another video. Today we have our four week update of the Turtle Wax Ice and Seal. So we're gonna see how it performed. Uh, it's rained a bunch of days up here in New York. And as you see today is a nice overcast day. A day where I was waiting to get the car dirty and uh, to give it a quick rinse. We're not going to do a full contact wash. We're going to do a foam and then a rinse. And uh, I want to bring out the properties of this product and see how well it has held up for the past four weeks. It might not be four weeks from the first video, but it does take a couple of days for me to record and shoot, edit and upload. So this is four calendar weeks since I've applied the product. So let's go ahead and take a look at the car. As you can see, there's a lot of dust and dirt. Looks like there was dirt on the car and it rained or it was driven through the rain. And you see all of the black. We're gonna lightly, you see there's a coating of uh, dirt. As well as the roof. The roof, I'm sure, might need a little bit of agitation due to it being a wrap and the material properties between the body and the paint and the wrap are very different. And let's take a look at the truck. You can see we have some water spots, some dirt spots, some spots where leaves were sitting while it was wet, just like this. And that gives us these dark brown spots right here. back bumper you can see and usually driving when it's wet this is the area that I see that gets the most dirtiest this back bumper and especially like up in this area this area and this area when I clean the car I usually see the most contaminants around this area We'll go ahead and take a look at the door panel. You can see as uh, the dirt accumulates, the water collects around this area, and you can see two faint lines, two lines of uh, dirt. This right here looks like a bug might have splattered, and uh, that might take a little bit of agitation. So today we're going with my go-to setup my SGS28 as well as my PF22 both from uh, MTM and we're gonna go ahead foam the car look at the properties that the foam come off and do a rinse and we'll see how everything worked out for us <laughs> So as you can see from the last video we did, um, the foam's not coming off the car as fast as it was before. And uh, we used the same ratio, about uh, two ounces of chemical guy soap. But we can see in certain areas where it didn't even stick. So it kept some of the properties. And you can see like where we had those two faint lines of how the, the, the foam just drips and uh, encapsulates all of that stuff. Like right here, you could just see it just working faster and faster as everything just comes together.
Oh man, we caught a honeybee. I think the uh, honeybee thought it was that uh, honeydew formula and uh, got stuck in the uh, soap. I'm going to give the bee a couple of minutes to see if it could free itself before we uh, spray it down. Sorry bee, but uh, you probably smell the sweet scent, but it's not no honeydew. Back with our SGS 28 with our 40 degree nozzle. Let's go ahead and rinse this stuff off. So let's go ahead and take a look. We noticed in this area we had the two faint lines and um, the bird guts that are right here so the bird guts that stayed on as expected as well as all of the dirt that's here usually that's like grime and road tar and stuff like that so I wouldn't expect that part to come off actually the wrap held up better than I than I thought Now let's look at the hood. So we do have some of the uh, some of the leaf spots, but a lot of the dirt has come off, and we still have some beading characteristics. Although the water didn't sheet off, it the water is still beading. Now let's come to the back. Yeah, same thing. The leaf spots are uh, still here as well as there's still a lot of dirt but like I said on the back it gets hit harder than uh, anywhere else especially when driving in the rain let me go grab the leaf blower and let's check out the properties of uh, the drying time and see how uh, well everything held up after four weeks So you see, we don't have a, a complete dry area, but a lot of the water is still on here. And as you can see, as I, you can see that it's still dirty. This this uh, wash would have definitely needed a contact wash. We wouldn't be able to get away with just uh, foaming. You can see a line from before with foaming and rinsing. Let's go ahead and see how this uh, water still sheets off of the paint.
It's like typical New York fashion. It wasn't supposed to rain for another couple of hours, but Mother Nature always knows when you're trying to shoot a video outdoors, it's going to throw everything at you. So it's starting to drizzle. I feel a couple of drops on my head, and it wasn't from the pressure washer. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. This Turtle Wax uh, Seal and Shine product has, still has my thumbs up approval for its price, for its cost, for its ease of use. It's something where it says uh, it'll give you months of protection. But I'm going to go with about a month before you want to reapply it or strip it down and apply it again. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.